Hi everyone, welcome back to Creative Mind YouTube channel. Today, we have something exciting to unbox and explore. We've received a package from Rayx Technologies containing some of their latest products. Let's open this package to see what's inside. There are three products. The RYBG211 Light Bluetooth 5.1 module. The RYLS135US BTUART bridge with bidirectional voltage level shifter. In the RYS352AGNSS module. Now, let's open this package. They have done a great job with the packing so that it won't get damaged while shipping. They have also provided the cable with the GNSS module. Let's put this aside and open the USB to UART bridge module with 4 bit bidirectional voltage level shifter. They have provided wires with it too. Now let's open the RYBG211 Lite Bluetooth 5.1 Long Range Module. I'll make a separate video with this module in the future. Before we dive into the specifications, let me tell you a bit about Rayx Technologies. Rayx Technology is an IoT total solution provider based in Taiwan. Since 2008, Rayx has been devoted to developing a wide range of high-quality and high-reliability industrial modules like NFC, RFID, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LoRa, GPS, GNSS, and many more. Their modules are very affordable and easy to use. Check out the links in the description for more information about Rayx and their products. Before we proceed with this video, let me give you a brief explanation of GNSS. GNSS stands for Global Navigation Satellite System. It's a network of satellites orbiting Earth that transmit signals used to determine your location. Benefits. Highly accurate. Precise location tracking within a few meters. Global coverage. Reliable positioning almost anywhere on Earth. Multiple systems. Utilizes various constellations for better signal reception. Features of Rayx GNSS modules. Compact design. Ideal for small projects like drones or wearables. Multi-GNSS support. Enhanced accuracy and reliability. Power consumption. Perfect for battery-powered applications. High sensitivity. Reliable tracking even in challenging environments. Applications of Rayx GNSS modules. Drone navigation. Precise positioning and autonomous flight. Location-based services. Features like ride hailing or finding nearby restaurants. Vehicle tracking. Real-time location tracking for logistics or security. Wearable tech. Distance and activity tracking in fitness trackers. Now, let's check out the specifications of the Rayx RYS352 AGNSS module. Multi-GNSS GPS, Lonus Galileo, Beto module. 72 receiver channel number. Support for multi-GNSS including QZSS and SBAS ranging. Integrated 12 multi-tone active interference cancelers. Indoor and outdoor path detection and compensation. Including enhanced soft filter, LNA, and TCXO. Embedded GPS, Lonus, Beto antenna. RTC battery backup. Max. 10 Hz navigation update rate. PPS and TXD LED indicator. Now if we look at the actual module we can see the embedded antenna. And at the bottom we can see the dedicated TX and PPS LED. And if we look at the back side there's the small RTC battery for backup. Now, let's look at the USB to UART module specifications. We can use this as a USB to UART bridge and as well as a 4-bit bidirectional voltage level shifter. It has various voltage ranges, 1.8 volts, 3.3 volts, and 5 volts. Let's put these modules to the test. When connecting wires to the GNSS module, you can either use the Molex connector or solder header pins directly to the module. In the product page, we can download the necessary documents. Here we go to the field test, and we can see how they have connected the GNSS module to the computer via the USB to UART bridge module. Let's connect the wires accordingly. Red goes to the 3.3 volt pin. Black goes to the GND pin. Green goes to the RX pin. Now, let's connect this to the computer. Here I am using a USB extension cable. You can directly connect it to the computer. Now, open the browser and search for Visual GPS Viewer. Then download and open the software. Click on the gear icon. Here select the port named Silicon Labs USB to UART bridge. 
Then set the boo rate to 115,200. Then click OK. After a few moments, we'll start receiving data from the GNSS module, showing us the latitude, longitude, and altitude. The red ones represent GLONASS satellites, and blue represent GPS satellites. I have blurred the latitude and longitude for privacy reasons. These modules aren't just for demonstration purposes. With Arduino, we can create a live location tracking device using the GNSS module and transmit the data over long distances using Rayx LoRa modules like the RYLR998. Imagine attaching this to your bike, car, if it ever gets stolen, you'll have a reliable way to track its whereabouts. If you're interested in learning more about the capabilities and applications of Rayx LoRa modules, I've already made a dedicated video on that topic. I highly recommend checking it out after watching this video. And that's a wrap for today's video. If you found this information useful and exciting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. Also, don't forget to check out the link in the description for more details about these products and where to purchase them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.